Welcome to episode 9 of the Head in the Clouds video series. I'm Ken Hartman, a SANS certified instructor and content creator for the SANS Cloud Security Curriculum. Today's episode is titled, How to Inventory EC2 Instances with Just a Single Line of Code. The purpose of Head in the Clouds is to teach foundational cloud skills and security knowledge that will help others thrive in the cloud. The content ideas come from my personal observation of skills that I see some students lacking when they show up to a SANS cloud security course. Other ideas are passed on from fellow SANS instructors. Today's topic will cover how to use a loop to iteratively call a cloud CLI while passing in a variable. This is a very powerful technique that can allow us to do many things much more rapidly via the terminal than could be done via the cloud provider's web console. For this episode, we will be using the AWS EC2 Describe Instances command, but we could replace this with any other AWS CLI Describe asterisk command to generate inventories of all of our other various cloud assets. And once you learn it, you will almost certainly find occasions to use this technique with other cloud service providers as well. Assuming that you do not have any EC2 instances running in your AWS account, launch two in your default region and one more in two other regions for at least four instances running in at least three regions. And for fun, you can change up the operating systems too. For example, I launched two Amazon Linux 2 instances in US East 1 and Ubuntu instance in US East 2 and a Windows server in US West 2. Now we have something to work with. To follow along for this episode, I'm also assuming that you have installed the AWS CLI version 2 and have also configured it for your account. If you've not done that yet, please pause the video and get that taken care of. Let me show you my configuration. Notice that my default region is US East 1 and my default output is JSON, but if yours is different, that's okay. Just make sure that you've launched a couple of virtual machines in your default region. Once that is done, we can now run some CLI commands with some command line Kung Fu. First, let's start with the basic describe instances command. To run that, just type AWS EC2 describe hyphen instances. This command I'll put several lines of JSON because I have two instances running in my default region, US East 1. And that is almost too much information to be able to interpret on the screen. So let's pare it down some. We can do this using a query parameter to select just the data elements of interest. In this episode, I'm not going to take the time to discuss navigating the JSON data structure, because I've already covered that in episode one called using JQ to get the results you need from any command line interface. But if we look over the JSON output, maybe we are interested in the following items. Instance ID, the state which says whether it's running or stopped or terminated, etc. The availability zone, perhaps its public IP address, and the launch time. Well, in that case, our query parameter would become, which would make our full command to be, and this produces output that looks something like this. Of course, your metadata will be different, but the format should look similar. Now, Let's add in another parameter so our output will be displayed as a table. Mm -hmm. 
much more readable. And if we want to describe the instance in another region, we simply use the region parameter with the command. And now we see the data for this other region. Great, but what if we want to describe the instances across all of the regions for our AWS account? To do that, we need to use a for loop and a subshell. A for loop assigns each element of a set to a variable one at a time and then performs various commands using that variable and when done it iterates onto the next variable repeating the various commands inside the loop for example we could have a set of animals that we loop through with a variable called pet and use that variable in a command as shown sometimes we want to use the output of one command as part of another command as a simple example, we could run the date command in a subshell and use the results of that in an echo command. We inform bash that we want to run a subshell by enclosing the command with a dollar sign open paren and a close paren. AWS adds new regions from time to time. So to be certain that we know all of the regions, the best practice is to query AWS for this information at runtime. To do this, AWS provides the describe-regions command. Let's try it out. Note that the output has extraneous information, so we need to use a query parameter. Good, but we want a simple list, not a JSON array. So let's use hyphen hyphen output text as follows. Now that we have the regions output via a CLI command, we can put that CLI command in a subshell and use that for our loop. Now that we have a functioning for loop that iterates through all of the regions, let's replace the echo dollar sign region with our describe instances command that we worked out earlier in the episode. Note that the hyphen hyphen region parameter now has the variable dollar sign region so that the loop can iterate through each region and repeatedly call the describe instances command for each new value. Here are my results. This technique is a powerful tactic to quickly generate an inventory of your EC2 instances. You might find assets in regions that you were unaware had anything, but don't stop with EC2 instances. What about VPCs, security groups, peering connections, load balancers, and many more assets that you can think of. Remember that an asset that is not managed is unlikely to be secure. Therefore, inventory everything. Also, don't forget to turn off all your instances. You can rerun the command to verify that they have all been terminated. And for extra credit, you could even write a loop to iterate through all of your running instances and execute the terminate instances command. If you have thoughts or comments on today's episode, feel free to chime in on the comments for this YouTube video. If you appreciate this video and want to see more like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for another installment of Headed to Clouds as announcements of new episodes are made on the SANS Cloud Security Twitter feed. Meanwhile, 
be sure to check out the other great videos in the SANS Cloud Security YouTube channel. Take care.